Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, episode two. So what we're going to have here is the first episode with the T1 Heavy, and you notice I'm doing a match where the enemy is two tiers higher than me. There's a reason for this. Because the T1 Heavy is actually a pretty good tank. You just have to really know what you're doing. Um, it is not a tank that you angle your armor, people. Seriously. You just point at them. And let them shoot at your frontal plate. That's how this tank works. It also has a very high rate of fire, and the 75 mm, the 76 millimeter gun has a really good penetration. It's called the three inch gun, but it's basically 76. Now we're gonna speed up and get the match started. So this 3-inch gun comes courtesy of the U.S. Army with 128 millimeters of penetration. Significantly more than any other Tier 5 U.S. tank. Now there's stuff shooting, and I can't see it. And I hit something, and I'm not quite sure what's going on with the replay right now. Oh, there's the Firefly. Yes, yeah, for some reason, Wargaming, your replays are bugging pretty bad. The Firefly was just ignoring me until I shot him. So I'm going to move out into a potentially compromising position here. But I'm going to be rewarded for this because the enemy is going to turn out to be super aggressive. That's not going to help them in this case. So moving up here with this KV-3, the first victim, M4-1. Two. Take a peek. I see a panther. I don't want any of that. He can, he can hurt me. KV-85, which I hit. And I have no idea what this thing is doing. I'm going to keep trained on that 85 because I'm pretty sure he's going to come back out. And I'm going to keep backing up. Oh, look. Firefly. You done, cool. Hit him again. Check on the Firefly. Keep backing up. Don't quite go around the corner yet because I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. He hit me. That hurt. KV-3 bounces a shell. T-29 backs into my line of fire. Takes one, two from me. And I can't quite pin that front plate. But I can back up and bounce. See, there's that armor. You point right at the enemy and you tell them to come get you. One. Lock target, two. Ow. Three. I think it gets me here. Yep, gone. So, 1,272 damage with a tank that has an average damage of 110 in a tier 7 battle. Not a bad ride. And we are going to win this battle. Partially because of that huge effort I made right there to keep those guys flanked and shot up. And because I distracted the panther and basically led him around to lose hit points. So at this point, the T-29 is going to move up and... I really don't understand why he doesn't just go past this M6 corpse and go at him. But, whatever. And the Chaffee. Oh my god, this Chaffee. Perfect shot. Absolutely beautiful shot at the KV-85. He's too worried about the Jag Panther. Now tell him. But in a second here. Chaffee, on your right. And he is a dummy. If he's paying attention, he has side shots on this guy. And could have mopped him up. It's a free kill, guys. Pay attention to your map. Even when you're not, you know... Even when you have other things around you, you really need to look at that mini-map to figure out where the, all the enemies are. Because you might have shots and not even know it. I don't understand why this Chaffee didn't just stay in here and just rail this guy. But oh well. He's the last guy on their team. 
It's done and over with. And Jappy gets on cap. And they think we're going to get a cap victory, and I don't think we are. This Firefly could go have a frickin' field day and doesn't. That guy lived. Because three tanks that could have easily taken his shot didn't go in there after him. So, call this a prequel because there's an actual match with the T1 Heavy that's going to be coming right behind this. That's going to be pretty awesome. So what we have here... Didn't actually do that bad. I got third in damage with the low tier tank. And I bounced a shot from a T29. I could say I'm pretty happy with that. And it says five penetrations, but a couple of those were track shots that didn't do anything. So in the meantime, we're going to go on to the actual match. The, uh, the T1 heavy. I'm the high tier heavy. I see two Churchill 3s. KV-1 and another T-1 Heavy that I am probably going to have to be the one to deal with. I have with me Kevin the Hitman. He's a Harm 2 player. Pretty good player. Has some common sense. Sometimes he doesn't. But, you know. And we're going to get to the action. Which is not going to be very long. Kevin's going to come up here, he's going to give me a little push. You can see the sparks, we're definitely grinding, but it's not much of a push. I am a T1 heavy. And I see this, and I'm like, that, no, we can't let these guys stand. That's got to be dealt with. So Kevin goes one way, I go the other way. He takes out the Panzer 1C. I just lock onto the steward and I'm just letting him have it. Two. Three. I'm not getting away, bud. I'm sorry. Four. I look over at this M2. And he's gone, too. Five shots in. I have two kills. And I go, oh, Churchill three. Okay, I know how to deal with this. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is where to shoot a Churchill. It's really simple. You don't aim for anywhere on the body. You don't even worry about that. You wait till he points his gun at you. And this is exactly what you do. Hi, Churchill 3. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you there. There we go, right through the front of the turret. One more time. I'm just gonna keep railing him in the front of the turret. They're shooting my front plate, not getting anywhere. He's weaving his body like I'm shooting his body. No, I'm just blasting away through your turret. And this is standard AP rounds. This is not APCR. This is just standard AP right through the front of that 100 millimeter turret. Because it's a completely flat turret. I hit the side a little bit. I repair my gunner. And I turn over. T1 Heavy. Underplate. Underplate again. I start backing up because this is starting to hurt. Right through the front. Right through the side. He's got his side exposed just enough. And now I can't afford any more hits. Gun's broken. Which I stop. Fix it. I tell Kevin, hey, can you get behind these guys? He's like, yeah, I can get behind them. I've done 2,000 damage, by the way, already. I actually completed a heavy tank mission for 2,000 damage at point blank range. I'm waiting for this KV-1 to get distracted. And sure enough, he turns his turret. And I got him in the front plate. I don't know how that went in. But then I go for the turret. And I see Kevin's pinned down, and I say, okay, I'm coming. Full tilt. Do, 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 do. And Kevin smacks that guy. Now, here's the bad part about this gun. There are times when it just doesn't do its job. He didn't die. I had to shoot him again. Lock target. Goes over his head. 
missed him again. What? Both of us walk away with five kills, though. Oh, come on. No, when that's final, we've got bigger things. That's how you use this tank. You point right at the enemy. You tell them to bring it on, and you just rail them with your 128 penetration over and over again. Those two Churchill 3s did not stand a chance because they've got a 1 in 5 shot of penetrating my frontal plate if they hit a weak point. And here we go. Steel wall, 20 hits received, 955 blocked by armor. I only have 600 hit points. Easily top two tanks on the board. Kevin did an amazing job with his derp gun. And Brothers in Arms, I'll take it. High caliber, steel wall. Brothers in Arms is one we kind of don't see all the time. Bunch of ribbons. Mastery badge is the one that's hard. But yeah. This is a really good tank if you know what you're doing. So that's going to be it for the T1 Heavy. Um, we're going to have a random T54 match from today, actually. And then we're going to have a T49 with some shenanigans to top it all off.